what a good afternoon and hope you're doing well today and today we're gonna be talking about children from the gospel of matthew uh, children we know are a true blessing and joy from god um you know god made this world and children you know bringing children into this world and god you know by his power you know, enabling us to do that and raising these little ones and teaching them and loving them and enjoying them and watching them grow and learn. And it is truly a beautiful thing. Um, I've been blessed with four kids of my own and I'm, you know, thankful to God for each and every one of them. They're, you know, their own characters. Uh, they're special each in their own way. And it's not always easy though. Um, you know, sometimes uh, raising children can be challenging, uh, to say the least. Um, you know, sometimes when, you know, we as adults and as parents, we get busy and we get focused, and uh, sometimes it is easy to feel like, um, you know, children get underfoot and uh, children kind of get in the way or they... Um, can kind of maybe bother us at times when we're really focused on something or we're stressed about something or we're busy working on something. And some of that is understandable. But some of it is just remembering to have patience and love and to really give children the time and attention and love they really deserve. And there were some occasions even um, during the ministry of Jesus where Children were present and children um, were um, kind of getting mixed up in things and as far as, I guess to some, almost feeling underfoot. And there were occasions where, I guess, the disciples of Jesus felt it was uh, probably easier or better if uh, mamas and daddies just got their children and took them elsewhere. Um, but Jesus took opportunity to remind us of how, how truly special and important our, our children are. And we see an example of this in Matthew chapter 19, where we're going to look today, just a few verses. In Matthew chapter 19, it, it's there in verse 13, that as Jesus you know, had been uh, talking with uh, the Pharisees and his disciples, we had just talked about marriage, and here, just kind of, um, you know, right after that, out of nowhere, sort of, um, it says that little children were brought to Jesus, that he might put his hands on them and pray. Um, so I guess, you know, parents were bringing their children, they, you know, those who obviously believed in Jesus, who were um, amazed at Jesus and his power and his teaching, and they were growing in faith in Jesus. Well, they wanted Jesus to, uh, to put his hands on their children and to pray for them and bless them. And, well, we find the disciples, I guess, didn't think that was really uh, that important, I guess. Um, we're told at the end of verse 13 that as, you know, they were bringing, the parents were bringing children to Jesus, that the disciples rebuked them. Uh, the disciples of Jesus, um, and, and I don't know, I mean, we could give the disciples the benefit of the doubt. I don't think the disciples were necessarily, you know, unloving. They, they were not trying to be mean or ugly, I don't think. I mean, giving them the benefit of the doubt. I, I think it may have been just... You know, they were f focused on adult things, right? Jesus traveling around, teaching people, healing people. Uh, you know, they, they were, you know, talking about adult things, mature things, spiritual things. And maybe the disciples just felt that if people kept, you know, bringing the, the children, that somehow it was going to get in the way of what Jesus was needing to do. And so they were they were rebuking the people for bringing their children, you know, trying to kind of guide them away, say, no, no, you know, stay out of the way, you know, leave Jesus alone. But Jesus said in verse 14, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. For of such, he says, is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid 
his hands on them and departed from there. What a beautiful scene. What a beautiful gesture from Jesus to, to show appreciation and love for these little hearts. Um, again, I don't think the disciples were, you know, unloving men who didn't like children. They just, you know, were busy. We're at work, we're doing things, and, um, but Jesus reminds us, reminded them of how special these little ones are, and it reminds me of what Jesus already said about little children back in Matthew chapter 18 when we read there when uh, the disciples asked about who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, and there were children nearby. Obviously, Jesus called a little child to himself and put one in their midst and said, unless you become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Um, for of such, you know, is the kingdom of heaven. Um, receive these children. Take care of these children. Here, children are being brought. Um, and he says, do not forbid the children to come. Let the little ones come to me. Um, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. They are pure, innocent hearts, free of sin, free of guilt. They are beautiful souls that are learning and growing. And Jesus wanted to lay hands on them and pray for them and bless them. And what a beautiful thing that is. And I think for us today, what it reminds us of is, is of our children, of little ones, of precious hearts and souls to to make sure we're not always putting them off or make sure that we're not always feeling like they're a hindrance or a nuisance or a bother or in the way or a distraction, but taking time to give children the love and attention they need, the teaching and the guidance and the support, the nurturing. In the home, first and foremost, you know, in the home, bringing them to Jesus in our homes, in the Word, and prayer, and our uh, examples to, to show our children Jesus, to bring them to Jesus, to teach them about Jesus, and about God, and His Word, and love, and power, and glory, and joy, and um, to sing songs with them. And then, even from there, uh, you know, reminding us the importance of bringing children to church. Um, no, it's not always easy. Again, I have four children, and, you know, uh, my wife, uh, she has her hands full all the time. You know, I, you know, help when I can, but, you know, when I'm having to preach and do other things, and I'm not able to, to help at the moment, I mean, and other families, and people, and young parents, and others, and you know, yeah, sometimes, you know, children have needs and they have problems and they uh, do things they shouldn't do and they get in trouble and they can be distracting. But again, we should realize the importance of bringing the children to know God and know Jesus, showing the example of being in the Lord's body and worshiping the Lord in song and prayer and word. So let us, let, let us never feel that children are a distraction at church. Um, while yes, you know, something is, you know, there is something to be said about, you know, training and teaching our, you know, children to, you know, behave and such. Let us never forbid the children, the babies, the young ones, whatever age they may be. Jesus says, bring them. Jesus says, love them. Jesus says, teach them, show them, guide them, appreciate them, admire them. And that's what we should be doing for our, all of our children. Um, and to be thankful that the children are there. You know, and imagine these parents. I mean, they brought their children to Jesus to receive a, a blessing. Imagine how these parents felt who got to bring their children to Jesus and for Jesus to lay his hands on them and pray for them. We as parents and adults and grandparents and whoever we are should feel the blessing of bringing our children and young ones to Jesus today. 
and letting them see God and see Jesus and learn and be thankful they have that ability and opportunity and make sure we are doing our part to show them Jesus, to bring them to Jesus and to love them and support them all. Let's take this lesson, let's learn this lesson. Let's appreciate, if, if you have children, appreciate your own children. If you have grandchildren, appreciate them. If, and, and if there's just children and young ones and teenagers and 20s and 30s, whoever, whatever you consider to be a, a child, a kid, appreciate them, love them, support them, bring them to Jesus. Jesus, the, so the song we sing, Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves all, and especially the little children, how precious they are. And may we all do our part to love them and support them and bring them to Jesus. God bless.